the Lawn Artifacts of Mars. And I don't have playlists for this one. Uh, it's interesting, though. Island in the Clouds is Mount Roraima. Really a lost world where dinosaurs may still exist. This is in Venezuela, according to them. Uh, I have it on Google Earth, I'm going to show you. I'm not seeing this plateau that they're talking about. So I'm not sure, quite sure what's going on, but it's an interesting article. Deep within the rainforests of Venezuela, a series of plateaus rise more than 9,000 feet, or 2,743 meters off the ground. From above, they look like islands in the sky. They are the Tapius, a Pemian or Indian word for mountain, the most famous of which is called Mount Roraima. The Tapius are so unique in their geography that thousands of plant species exist nowhere else on the planet except on these plateaus. The mystical mountains fascinated explorers and writers for centuries, and most, most are notably Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who described the ascent of Mount Roraima in his 1912 novel, Lost World. In Davil, Doyle's novel, a group of explorers found that dinosaurs and other extinct creatures were still alive and well on the remote plateaus. Some people today still believe this to be a real possibility. I've heard about uh, dinos possibly being in the Congo. Once impenetrable to all but the Pemam indigenous people, Mount Roraima really was a lost world. The mountain plateaus were already established when South America was linked with Africa, turned the supercontinent to form the supercontinent Gadwana, I mean, they were the first formed between 400 and 250 million years ago. During this time, molten rock forced its way up to the cracks and the sandstone landmass. At the same time, wind and water swept across the Gadwana, he rode the raised highlands and mountain ranges. The region would come look like it does now about 20 million years ago. Because the Tapas have been isolated for so long that their high, lonely plateaus, flora and fauna and the Tapas provide an organic illustration of the process of evolution. That is BS. I don't buy into unguided evolution. It's guessed that at least half the estimated 10,000 plant species here are unique to Tepheus and surrounding lowlands. Although the Tepheus have been climbed, only a few have been extensively explored. Does this mean that supposedly extinct species, even dinos, may still exist? Above these tra uh, plateaus. Roraima plateaus are so remote and so unique that it's not difficult to imagine Sir Arthur Conan Doyle creating a world life with prehistoric plants and dinos, dinos in his novel Lost World. Doyle was fascinated with the accounts of Britain, British botanist Evers. Everend, wow, uh, M. Thurn, who climbed the top of Mount Roraima in the summer of 1884. Apparently, ascending Mount Roraima in 1989 for National Geographic Society, German explorer U. Ue George said Novus followed M. Thurn to Roraima found primordia creatures and the fossil remains there, but the terrain is so difficult that only a fraction of the few 24 square miles has been explored. Since his running more of Mount Roraima has been investigated, none surprisingly no traces of dinos have been found. So it's interesting. Uh, 
That sound you heard was another video getting done. Uh, so, here we have, let's see if I can close that out. Here we have the area. Gee, anybody, any people think of exploring it via Google Earth? Well, to be honest with you, it doesn't look like much. But, it's worth going over it just so, you know, we learn about something new. We see what's in there. I'm not seeing the plateaus they're talking about. Well, at least we can enjoy the visual tour and look at the jungles. Look at all this. Lots and lots of places to hide if you had to hide. I, it looks like an intriguing place. I'd love to go there. You have to understand one thing about jungle is totally different. Uh, world than Western New York. You go out in that jungle, you gotta know what you're doing. I've heard there's plants that just have hairs that have poison on them and brush against them and you're dead. I don't know if that's true. But there's a million things, everything in there wants to kill you and eat or eat you. That's why it's called the jungle. Alright, here's your guided tour of some place, and maybe it'll inspire some hardy explorer to go down there. Uh, do be careful. <laughs> Might be real tough getting permission because uh, you got to be careful going down there because you're likely to get a gun barrel in your back. Yankee pig. Not only this. Uh, this is an interesting marking. Don't know what to make of it. But seriously, if you're thinking about Exploring, remember, this country is in anarchy, basically. Venezuela is, it's falling apart, and they don't like Americans there. Of course they blame Americans, they have to blame it on somebody. Anyway, that's your uh, guide tour. Maybe some of you have more time on your hands than I do and like to look around, find the plateaus. Try not working tomorrow. I might take a look around. I have other projects to do though. I don't I don't think there's any dinos there. Well, who knows? We had that one gator in down in Florida, that thing was n nasty looking. Uh, anyway, I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.